Hey guys, Dave Fu here from SDIY and today I'm <laughs> Disclaimer, the stunt that you just saw just now is inspired by real event. I was mad at first but after thinking through and cooled myself down, I talked to my housemates and kinda have a treaty with them. So everything is resolved, no hard feelings anymore. My Brachypalma Beimei actually escaped from her enclosure and then she somehow crawled in front of the washing machine and my housemate found her. So what actually happened is... Now of course the good thing is that they didn't do it. We have already settled things properly so they have voiced out their concern. Their concern is that my pets are getting more and more venomous. Like in the beginning I keep ants, alright ants have venoms. If you don't know, ants have venoms from ants and then I start to have tarantulas and then I begin to have scorpions, uh, Asian forest scorpions. They become more concerned of their personal safety and even my landlord also have mentioned his concern because his son is staying with me. I actually beg them so that I'm able to continue to keep those tarantulas that I currently have at the condition that I don't buy any tarantula species anymore. Even though there are some tarantula species that I wanted to get very much, for example, Caribana versicolor. If you have watched my previous video on the new additions that I get, you will know that I still want Caribana versicolor because it's very very beautiful and... but too bad. Yeah. <laughs> For us tarantula keepers, we know that how dangerous a tarantula is and we know how not dangerous a tarantula is because we have knowledge about them. But to a layman, tarantulas are basically big, hairy, creepy crawlies, venomous, dangerous and they will think that all oh, people die because they got bitten by tarantulas. But we know how dangerous they are. Basically, they are not dangerous. But the tarantula bite is no joke. And so, I got the idea to make this video to show to everyone, no matter whether you are a tarantula keeper or you're just a normal guy or girl afraid because your housemate or roommate is keeping tarantulas and their tarantula is bolting every time when they feed it or rehousing it. This is a video for you to know, actually. Tarantulas are not that dangerous and not as dangerous as you think. Now, one question that everyone always asks, even though they are tarantula keepers and trying to get like new tarantulas or what, one question they will ask all the time, always, always confirm. Do they have venom? Hi, I'm cute and I'm venomous. Me too. Hey, don't bust my cover. I know I'm venomous, but so many people don't know. So shh. Yep. All spiders have venom, including tarantulas. Be it big or small, hairy or hairless, all of them have venom. Without venom, they can't hunt prey, they can't eat, they can't kill, and they will die of hunger. They need their venom. I have done some research and I'm going to show you through everything. And so let's get started. Okay, so are there any tarantula bites that kill human? Let's Google it and see. Reports of human death by tarantulas. Let's see. Oh, although reports of severe human toxicity are rare, dogs bitten by Plogilius and Selenocosmia spiders often die. Many species of tarantula possess urticating hairs. Some tarantula bites are more harmful. List of medically significant spiders, Wikipedia. Um, let's see what else. Danger of tarantula bites and scorpion. Can tarantula kill you? Let's see. Interesting, right? No. And no, to my knowledge, there has only been one death attributed to a tarantula and it's due to anaphylaxis, which is basically allergic. Allergic reaction to the venom. So it is not the tarantula that kills. Third one, no, while some species of tarantula have venom strong enough to make a bite extremely unpleasant, of course. Uh, no death, nor any anaphylactic. No allergic reactions. So far, no one died 
and if that one is real then there's only one person who died and that is because of allergic reaction and not because of a direct bite from a tarantula. Most people are not allergic to any venom except for some people they allergic to some ants venom like even ants venom can kill you. You know an ant sting can kill you if you are allergic to it. Bee stings too. Let's see the list of medically significant spider bites in Wikipedia. First, wandering spider, widow spider, oh tarantulas. Alright, tarantulas, finally. After in the bottom of the list, I find tarantulas. Alright, newer tarantulas, okay. Newer tarantulas, post little threat to humans, old tarantulas, species, uh, like a ticketing hairs and may bite as a defensive mechanism. They are far less docile than new world species, new world tarantulas, and are more likely to bite when provoked. When provoked. Well, even touching it with this pipette, it does not attack, you see. We'll try to move away, like push away, push away. Hobbies report bites of by bipedalaria species occasionally resulting in hospitalization. Symptoms include localized pain and swelling, exhaustion moderate to severe muscle cramping, labored breathing, and fever sometimes delayed days after the initial bite. Medical documentation is lacking. Oh, Pisilotaria. Pookies. Newer tarantulas have very low level of venom and then older tarantulas have the higher level of venom but pokies, Pocilotaria, they are beyond the older tarantulas even though they are old, older tarantulas but they have a very very high venom level. Of course their venom is dangerous, considered as the most dangerous among all the tarantulas in the world. And but this is the most venomous tarantula I have. And look, you can see its legs there. See its legs there. And look what happened. You see? You see? It just ran away. It just ran away just by touching the enclosure. To my observation, they are very skittish and also they hate light a lot. So most of the time, they will hide in their cold bar. Alright, so if you think that Google is not accurate, then let's check Google Scholars instead, which is uh, research papers published by researchers like entomologists and specifically studying on spider bites. Let's see, is there any death report? No, 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 no. Child development and human companion animal bond. Ooh. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, something interesting. Tarantula cubensis venom selectively destroys human cancer cell. Alright, I actually downloaded several research papers, several journals, and so let's go through it. We find the important species Teraphosidae family, which is basically tarantulas, to be large arthropods with potent fangs. Of course, their fangs are very huge and long, usually half an inch, or if it's a Teraphosa, then one inch. Their bite is painful and envenomation may cause severe local signs. Fever seems to be a common sign even in the absence of infection suggesting a direct pyrexic action of the venom. Except for fever, the general symptoms are mild. All patients in our series recovered after a few days with symptomatic treatments only. Gramostola action Eyes contacted by urticarious hair you see, that's why you don't want to inhale or after you touch the newer tarantula and with the articulating hairs on your hand, you don't want to rub your face. That's what we don't do. We never do that. What else? Let's see. Terophosa Blondi. Occupational hand bite. Pain. Local swelling. That's it? Oh, okay. Let's see. Pisoloteria species. Yes, interesting. Hand bite. Fever, myalgias, shivers, dysesthesias, cramps, pain. Wow, 
that seems bad. Alright, let's see another paper. I find this paper actually very interesting because this research paper actually studied specifically on the venom of Pistillotheria species. In general, tarantula venom is not considered to be life-threatening or even harmful to people. Right, I repeat, not considered to be life-threatening or harmful to people. This citation is Mr. 2003 and Rahmani 2014. However, bites of several species may cause adverse effects such as severe pain, disease, dystocia, fever, muscle spasms, or joint stiffness. We have read that just now. Alright, now let's go to Pistillotera. Alright, Pistillotera subfamily includes the only genus Pistillotera, which consists of 14 species. Hmm, looks like a very collectible amount. 14 species of Pistillotera. That's very few. Spiders of this subfamily inhabit India and Sri Lanka but are also popular among pet keepers worldwide thanks to their bright and diverse color. Yes, of course, because they have a very, very beautiful coloration, that's why everyone wants to get it. Every tarantula keepers wants to get a piece of area, especially Metallica. And I got one. Nevertheless, Pistillotheria bites uh, take place occasionally and are not always handled adequately. This is due to the fact that to date, no studies have been conducted to identify the most appropriate treatment. Two, the gravity of Pistillotheria bites makes it difficult to conduct a full-scale clinical study. Alright, the rarity of Pistillotheria bites makes it difficult to conduct a full-scale clinical study, which means the bites are very rare. That's why they are not even able to get enough data to do clinical studies. 3. Pistillotheria bites sometimes occur in countries where physicians have no experience in treating spider bites. 4. No clear information on the topic can be easily found over the web. This I agree. Some suggest the treatment options are based on the experience in treating bites of other spiders. Uh, I don't think so. There is an apparent lack of information on Pistillotheria venom molecular mechanism of action. Alright, so basically that's the reason why this guy, Alexander Andrew Andrewski, did this research with his research group and, and the title of this paper is actually Pharmacological Analysis of Pistillotheria Spider Venoms in Mice Provides Clues for Human Treatment Basically, they inject Pistillotheria venom into the mice and then they try to treat it in hope that they can find a cure if human got bitten by Pistillotheria species so you can know how rare Pistillotheria actually bites. Because like I mentioned just now, they are skittish, they don't like light, and they usually run before you can even touch them. And what more, you can't even reach them, so how are they going to bite you? But a tarantula bite is no joke. You must know that. That is why we tarantula keepers, we keep the handling to the minimum. Some of us don't even handle our tarantulas at all because they are a type of pets where we look at them and we keep them and we adore them from afar. So if you are thinking of getting a pet tarantula, so remember that tarantulas are not for you to touch. Even though it is a newer tarantula, they can be aggressive sometimes or defensive. And they might thought your finger is actually food and... Yep, it's fast. Yes. And basically, that's the only time she bites. Yep, you know what's next. Now, usually tarantula's bites are dry bites, which is venomless. The reason is simple because they want to save their venom to hunt prey. So whenever a prey comes, they will bite on the prey and then inject the venom into the system of the prey and to ensure that the prey dies so that it can eat them. So at most, you will only feel pain because their fangs are sharp and long. To my knowledge, tarantula bites are actually very uncommon. The reason is because those of the new world, they don't usually bite. I can even touch her with my hand, you see? Yeah, she's just kind of skittish. And those of the old world, they are very skittish. Oh, look who's out! Finally! 
I wanted to take a picture of you. Okay. Hi, Histero Crisis Gigas. Bye, Histero Crisis Gigas. And also defensive as well for some species such as Kilobrachis, uh, Terranoculus marinus, orange bitey things. You see? You see? It ran away. So, even my most aggressive, I mean most defensive tarantula runs away. It's like this. Because they are still small. Unless you disturb them, they won't do anything to you. But of course, after it became an adult, that's a different story. Totally different story. And if it escaped, just take a catch cup and put on it. That's it. And uh, Ceratogyrus. So, there are some species in the old world, of course, uh, they are more aggressive. I mean, more defensive. Right? Aggressive is that they will chase after you and bite you. But defensive is that when you disturb them, they will bite you. So, there's a difference between aggressive and defensive. So, tarantulas are defensive and not aggressive. They're only aggressive against food. Now, there's one final thing that I want to make clear. What if the tarantulas escape? So the reason my Brachyperma behme actually escaped is because I did not maintain its enclosure. This earlier on is already loose, just that I did not maintain it. And so it's actually my fault and it is not her fault that she escaped. She keeps pushing, pushing, pushing and the other hinge also got dislocated and that is how she actually escaped. Even if they escape for those venomous species, they won't bite you. Don't worry, they won't bite you, they will run. You are bigger than them, and they fear you more than you fear them. So trust me, they won't bite you even if they escape. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, a tarantula video won't be complete without a feeding clips. You guys have seen how aggressive my tarantulas are. I hope you guys really learned something today that uh, tarantulas are actually very harmless. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Even though I'm unable to get new tarantulas anymore, but these old tarantulas, I can tell you that basically I have already got all those that I did except for Caribana vs. Color. Well, of course, I hope my housemates will watch this video as well so that they would be able to have some knowledge as well about tarantulas and so that they won't be scared of it anymore. I did this video for you guys, you know. Alright, that's it. Subscribe to my channel here or here, uh, anywhere. And don't forget to hit the bell icon on and also, if you ever have any complications in keeping your tarantulas like mine, perhaps maybe your parents don't allow you or your siblings or maybe your spouse or your friends or your housemate like mine ever complain to you well feel free to leave it in the comment sections below and let me read what are your experience and how did you handle it so that's it for today and i'll see you next time bye